The term for better for worse has for ages been a strong epitaph engraved on the marriage creed. It has a certain ring to it, reinforcing a mutual sense of marital bliss together through the journey of life. Come rain, come shine. But prompt, this sentiment is developed an uncanny twist of recent which shoot up in the wave or rash of divorce. The army is a divorcee. Both ways is swelling as cracks. Breakups and permanent separations have increased dramatically. This is more apparent among young people where couples who marry between the ages of 18 and 35 are increasingly more inclined to severing nuptial ties. Those between the bracket of 25 to 29 years old are even prone to taking the divorce plunge. The rate of divorce is more than twice as high as among people in older age groups. Although it is self-deception to expect that marriage is to deliver, offer security, meet physical needs, and provide emotional and sexual fulfillment all in one bunch or pack. However, divorce rates continue to rise despite many benefits of the marriage institution and the family life cycle used by many researchers to understand and explain challenges faced by young adults. Divorce is considered a life-altering decision that involves wide-ranging issues. Ways of addressing the challenges prior to divorce as the final legal decision is a constant subject of interest. In this view, certain cultural beliefs and norms, a long-term commitment, care of children and breadwinning for the family all add up to a marriage pact. Validating these attributes constantly sustains the relationship. When these beliefs and norms are violated, either a wife or a husband is more likely to leave. Basically, lack of social support or spousal dissatisfaction leads to disaffection. Marriage is considered a lifelong contract in African societies. Traditionally, divorce was never an option. Family members would address any dispute by judging the case in its merit and weighing all the consequences of the outcome. Divorce, which was essentially considered a sin against God, nature and society, could only be allowed in traditional African society if adultery was involved and all efforts to encourage the married couple to stay together has been exhausted. Today, South Africa is one of the countries in the region with the highest divorce circle said to be owing to multiple interlocking factors. South African researchers attribute the rapidly raising rush of divorce to so-called sexual incompatibility, lack of intimacy, lack of communication, social networking, marital infidelity. Failure to communicate, especially in resolving financial difficulties, sexual and emotional issues, marriage infidelity, namely adultery, and as cheating top the list of the reasons for divorce. Infidelity may cause anxiety, distress, and frustration in marriage, and consequently lead to divorce. In African culture, where high value is placed on children, any marriage that is not with children is not considered to have achieved its aim. The social media are equally known to be playing up the divorce curve as people freely post or share sensitive contents without thinking about the influence such information have on a relationship or marriage. Many hours are spent on social media, leading to a disconnect between the couples that often cannot be repaired. The mastery of the prior stages of the family life cycle can reduce the chances of divorce among young people. Premarital counseling and marital enrichment programs are, however, raising prospects to save marriages and tone down on the rush of divorce. <laughs>